Alright, hi everyone. I am back, and today I have something a little different for you. I'm going to be doing five quick tips for last hitting and lane management in League of Legends. Um, you may know some or all of these things, but you'd actually be surprised how many people don't know um, sort of basic mechanics about the game. Uh, things that are very important to know and things that will just like help you last hit better, help you manage the lane better, help you gain more CS and a bigger advantage over your opponents over time. So without further ado, quick tips for last hitting and lane management in League of Legends. Tip number one, We're starting off very simple. When you're last hitting in an empty lane with a ranged champion, you should stand as close to the minion that you want to last hit as possible. Um, the reason for this is just because your projectiles have travel time. So by making the travel time as low as possible, you are you have to predict less uh, in advance of to when the creep will die. So you can hit it as late as possible and make sure that you don't you know how often has it happened to you that a creep has died while your projectile is in the air and you're like, shit, I should have got that one. Well, if you stand very close to it, that's much less likely to happen. This is harder to do when there's enemies in the lane, of course, but when there aren't enemies in the lane, there's no reason not to just stand very close to the creeps, stay still, and last hit them. Tip number two, the more simple things about last hitting. For most of the game, when you are last hitting under your turret, it will take you two hits from the turret and one hit from your champion to last hit a melee creep. So you let the turret hit it twice and then you attack it and you will get the, the last hit. And one hit from the champion followed by one hit from the turret followed by another hit from the champion in order to last hit a ranged creep. A lot of people miss this and don't know that they can just have this pattern going. This leads to something called prepping the ranged minions, preparing them, right? Which is usually the support's job in a duo lane, but if you're in a solo lane, you're going to have to do this for yourself, where you hit all the ranged minions while the turret is, for example, focusing a cannon minion down. And then when the turret finally turns onto the ranged minions, you are able to just hit them each once after the turret attacks them and get the last hit. So again, that's two hits from the turret, followed by one attack from the champion for a melee creep, and one attack from the champion, then one attack from the turret, and finally another attack from the champion for a ranged creep. If you follow this pattern, you'll get more or less every last hit on more or less every champion. There's a few champions that have damage that is different from this, um, but, but that's the general rule of thumb. This segues nicely into tip number three, which is actually new. It's a new mechanic in League of Legends as of a week ago. Um, which is the turrets will target in order player-owned minions like Tibbers or Malzahar's Voidlings or like Heimerdinger turrets uh, and then cannon minions and then melee minions and then ranged minions. So you can use the time that the turret's attacking a melee minion, uh, a cannon minion to prepare the ranged creeps because um, it will always attack the cannon minion first and you can use it to predict which minions you're going to need to attack next, which will let you get more last hits overall. It will usually attack them in the order of the closest one to it, but not always. The turret aggro is still a little weird, so it won't always be perfectly predictable, but you know what type of minion it's going to attack next, which will let you get a lot more last hits. This is just important to keep in mind when you're last hitting under turret. Last hitting under turret, of course, is one of the more difficult skills and one of the more important skills in League of Legends, especially when you're losing a lane. If you can last hit well under the turret, you can reduce the impact of losing the lane significantly just by letting the enemy push you up to the turret all the time. Speaking of which, pushing that is, um, one thing that a lot of people don't necessarily notice is that waves will tend to push away from the base that they're closest to. So if two waves of minions of equal strength, like three melee and three ranged at the first wave of the game, meet, uh, they will push away from whichever turret they are closest to. You can use this to actually uh, force the enemy wave to push towards your turret if it's a lane that's going to be hard for you and you want to push, or if you're in a 2v1 lane situation and you really want them to push up to your turret. 
um, just by stepping up in front of their wave as it approaches and uh, forcing their creeps to bunch up by drawing aggro to yourself. When their creeps are bunched up, they'll stagger and stop moving closer to the enemy turret, which will do two things. One, since the creeps are bunched up, their creeps are bunched and yours are in a line, more of their creeps will start attacking sooner and more of their creeps will attack the same target, which will mean your creeps will die faster. And two, uh, their reinforcement creeps, their next wave, will arrive at the place where the lanes have met sooner and therefore they will outnumber your creeps even more and it will push towards your turret. You can use this to uh, force the wave to push at the beginning of the game and be able to last hit under turret using the tips that we've already discussed to uh, gain an advantage in a lane that's otherwise going to be difficult for you. It's a very common tactic in top lane and very important to keep bear in mind. Finally, Sometimes you might drive your opponent out of the lane, um, or they leave the lane to go by, and you also want to leave the lane, usually because you just got a kill, so you're low and you have gold that you want to spend, or because they are shopping, so you want to shop to keep up in items with them. But of course the lane doesn't just vanish when you leave it, uh, even if there's no one in it. So aside from getting a jungler to cover the lane, there's a few things that you can do um, to make sure the lane uh, costs them that more of your creeps die than their creeps while you're both absent from the lane um, in order to maximize the amount of gold that you get and minimize the amount of golden experience that your lane opponent or opponents get. Basically, there's four possible situations for an empty lane. One, it pushes hard enough to hit your turret. In other words, the wave moves into range of your turret, so your turret starts attacking the enemy creeps. Two, it pushes towards you, but not hard enough to attack the to hit your turret, so your turret never gets to attack the enemy creeps. Three, it pushes towards the enemy turret, but not hard enough to hit their turret. And four, it pushes into their turret, so their turret starts attacking. What you want is either number two or number four. You want the wave to push towards you, but not hit your turret, or to push into the enemy turret. What this means is when it's pushing towards you, they have more creeps, so your creeps are dying faster, and therefore more of your creeps die by the time you get back to the lane, provided the wave doesn't hit your turret. Or if you push it into the enemy turret, then the enemy turret kills a whole bunch of your creeps, and um, Obviously, the turrets are much more efficient at killing creeps than the minions are, so more of your creeps are going to die if it hits the enemy turret. So, what you should do when you leave a lane is count the minions. If you have significantly, if you have more minions than the enemy, uh, just more at all, then you should attack the enemy minions um, until the wave hits their turret, basically. Because by doing so, you get all the gold and experience for killing those minions, because you're in the lane, and then you have a big-ass wave that hits the enemy turret, and those minions all or mostly die before the enemy gets back. If you have fewer minions than the enemy, then you want to count them. If the enemy has a giant wave, then you're going to want to thin it out a bit. You're going to want to kill enough that they have just slightly more minions than you. If they just have slightly more minions than you, then you want to leave the lane alone and just not touch anything and base. Because if they have just slightly more minions than you, a couple of their minions will die, but many more of your minions will die, and the wave will just push slightly towards you. So by the time you get back to the lane, they have a big wave outside of your turret, which you can then kill for all the golden experience, and the enemy has lost one or two waves. This will allow you to maximize the amount of gold that you get and minimize the amount of gold that the enemy get. So just to recap, really quickly, that tip. If the enemy has fewer minions than you, push. If the enemy has more minions than you, check, try to kill enough of the enemy minions that they only have slightly more minions than you. Usually two ranged creeps or so, or three ranged creeps, depending on how far away from your turret their wave is. Uh, the closer it is to their turret, the more minions you want them to have. And, or, sorry, the, yeah, the closer it is to their turret, the more minions you want them to have. 
Um, and the closer it is to your turret, the fewer minions you want them to have when it's provided it's still pushing towards you. In this way, you're going to cost the enemy the most creeps, and you're going to get the most creeps for yourself. So, overall, uh, just five tips. Number one, last hitting in an, in an empty lane, stand close to the minions. Reduce travel time. Number two, last hitting under turret, it's two attacks from the turret and then one attack from the champion to kill melee creeps. W one attack from the champion, one attack from the turret, and then another attack from the champion to kill ranged creeps. Number three, towers target minions in the following order. Player-owned minions, cannon minions slash super minions, when that's important, melee minions, and ranged minions. Number four, waves will push away from the base that they're closest to, if the uh, numbers are even. And number five, you want the wave, when you leave it, to either be under the enemy turret, or pushing slowly towards your turret, but not actually hitting it. If you follow these five simple tips, you're going to get a lot more last hits, you're going to have better lane management, you're going to cost your opponent more CS, and you're going to get more CS. So I hope that was helpful for everyone. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, cheers, folks. GG.